Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Elric Ferris here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Okay, previously we brought you guys a video and we said, hey, how to turn between buying a PC and a Mac. Most people are obviously going to buy a PC. So that said, in this video, I'd like to talk to you about how you go about determining how to buy your PC. There's just a few easy steps that you can go through to make sure that you're not buying something way past your needs and wasting your money. The very first thing that you need to do is sit down and evaluate exactly what it is that you're going to be doing with the said PC. Are you somebody who just wants to contact people on the internet? Do you only want to just use your email and upload a few pictures on the internet? You barely use the thing, but you want to make sure that you have something? You want a very entry-level computer. There are all kinds of new things, including the new AMD APUs that are coming out that allow you to buy an all-in-one system for around $300 or less. That's probably going to do everything that you need. Also, when you're looking at this stuff too and you're out buying it, decide what kind of monitor that you want to use. Are you somebody who's getting old? Do you want to have a really big monitor? If you're going to have a really big monitor, you're going to want to make sure that your video card is actually up to capabilities to power that big monitor. Something to take into consideration. So, the very first thing you want to do is really evaluate, what am I going to use my computer for? If you're somebody who plays RPG type games, you don't play like the heavy, you know, 3D intense games like we talked about in some other videos, you don't need a super efficient video card solution. And especially if you're somebody who already has a pre-existing monitor and all you're doing is looking to go out and buy another system, you should really pay attention to what you're buying because if you've only got a monitor that's say a 20 inch or below and your resolution is maxes out at 1680 by 1050, there's no reason for you to go out and spend the big money on a video card that's basically the lowest end standard on that is above your even monitor. You're just wasting money. So you really need to really think about what you're doing. It always comes back to what am I using this computer for? What am I really going to do with this computer? Those are the serious things you got to think about. And then you go out and put your money. Always budget's going to come into play. We all know this. Everybody's struggling for money these days. The economy's kind of screwed up worldwide. So budget's always going to be in there. Now, if you're somebody who's upgrading and you're just looking like to do your video card stuff, then you need to also look at something in your computer. What is your computer doing now? The games that I'm playing now, what are they not doing that I want them to do? In that case, you want to go ahead and look at a video card that's going to go ahead and meet your need. You may not even need to upgrade stuff. I basically feel that Intel computers are for people that do a lot of multitasking stuff. A lot of multitasking. You're sitting there, you've got lots of windows open, you're working with Photoshop, you may be working on the internet, you're just doing all kinds of stuff on your computers. I feel that Intel is a better buy for that stuff. But if you're strictly a gamer, using single-threaded applications are most of the time in gaming. There are a few that take advantage of multi-threaded, but not very many. So you also need to look at that as well. If you're somebody who's just going to go out and buy a computer and you're strictly going to be using that computer for gaming, nothing else, I believe that AMD is a great solution. You can get many of their CPUs, including their new quad-core CPUs, for a very low price. Even their 1090T, which is a six-core CPU, is actually very well priced compared to some of the Intel CPUs. So if you're a gamer and you're strictly going to use that, an AMD, excuse me, an AMD CPU is just fine. Basically, most games use the video card as the main processor for the engine. Now, there comes into plays like PhysX and stuff like that. Yeah, if you want PhysX and all that stuff, you might want to just go ahead and use an NVIDIA card. If that means nothing to you, then you might want to go ahead and use an ATI card. There's just so many different aspects of doing it. But the bottom line always is determine what your needs are. Highly evaluate what you're doing. Look at the surroundings that you're in also. Do I have room for a big monitor? Do I not even have room for that? There's just all kinds of things to do it. If you're only somebody who just does basic stuff, you need a very, very low-end PC. The high-end PCs that cost lots of money these days are really for enthusiasts, people who are in the industry, or people that are just really super competitive with playing their games. Most people out there don't even need to have any of these type of things in their computer. So really, sit down before you decide you're going to go out and put the computer. If you're somebody who's young, sit down with your parents and talk with them and say, hey, you know, mom, dad, this is what I'm going to be doing with my computer. If you're an adult, sit down and look at and decide what are you really going to do with the PC that you're using. That's really how you start out with things. You'll go into somewhere like Best Buy or any of these places. They're always going to try to sell you something beyond what you need. It's just like if you go in and you ask for a car, you're going to go in, they're going to try to sell you a better car. That's just sales alone. Don't fall into the sales trap. Don't fall into that little box. Be your own master. 
create your own destiny and make your own choices. But making your own choices means doing homework. So at the end of the day, what I say for you, if you're gonna go out and buy a new PC, seriously, evaluate what your needs are. Evaluate the money and then make a determination of whether you need to actually spend big money or just a little tiny amount of money to suit your needs in the PC world. Thanks for watching.